Hello and welcome to our second attempt at doing a tutorial for DCS World. This week, of course, we are all enamored with the CH-47 Chinook cargo helicopter. One of the flaws of this helicopter at its current state is that it has only one radio, VHF. You will find that this one radio is not sufficient if you have a variety of coalition aircraft. What we're going to talk about is a way to get around this, though it is not a total fix. With the voice chat options within DCS, you can make a custom radio stack. You do this by going to Options, Audio tab, and selecting the voice chat radio options. Here you will have a pull down for all of your modules so you need to select the CH-47F. As you see, it has integrated the ARC-186 radio. What we're going to do to make it possible for us to listen to additional channels whilst flying on missions is we're going to come down to this pull down at the bottom and we're going to select the ARC-131 radio and we're going to add an existing radio to our extra radio units. All of the configurations for this radio are built in by default, including its frequency range. What this radio allows us to do is set the common JTAC frequencies um, that we can listen to. And then, because we're an A-10 pilot normally, we're going to add the ARC-210 to our radio stack as well. This is a very versatile radio, and you could just add this without the ARC-131. But what we're going to do is we're going to be able to have three frequencies that we listen to at once. The ARC-186 we will use to listen and communicate on our regular VHF range. The ARC-131 will be listening on our JTAC HF range. And the ARC-210 we will usually use for our UHF range, which is where we usually find our uh, mission communications. Having added the two radios as extra radio units in radio options, you can simply hit OK, and then OK out of here. Once connected to the multiplayer server of your choice, and in your CH-47 slot, you can bring up your radio stack with left control, left shift, tab. Now you will see our integrated radio unit, a VHF AM radio, that is the um, that is the radio that is down here that is controlled by the panel. You'll see the ARC-131 that we added and also the ARC-210. You're not going to be able to tune these radios with any in cockpit buttons so what you'll need to do to go to frequencies is actually click in the frequency window and type the frequency that you that you want to follow. And also with the ARC-210, whether you're AM or FM. You can also select your guard channel of choice. And now your radio is configured for listening. While you can't key these radios at this time, any attempt to do so simply keys the built-in integrated radio, as you see here. They do work perfectly well for listening. So if you have mission communications happening on the channels that we have tuned in here, you will be able to hear them. It's not a complete solution, but being able to hear these channels is definitely advantageous over not having them. And that is how you add additional radios to your custom radio stack for the CH-47. We hope you found this useful. Thank you. Another thing we found useful in the CH-47 is the use of overlays on your uh, Compass HSD. The middle button on the MFD is for overlay, and then on the right you have a TACAN overlay, which we'll go ahead and zoom in and show you. TACAN bearing. And then also the flight plan. Flight plan will do an overlay of your waypoint options. You then
then have other overlays you can add. But those are the two we found the most useful. The TACAN is programmed using the CDU. By going to Flight Director, TACAN. We're going to change the mode to Transmit Receive and then Return and we're going to select our closest tra TACAN transmitter. And you'll see that another compass rose came up, or a compass arrow came up, and that is the direction of the TACAN. And because we're in the transmit receive mode, you see that it's 0.8 miles away. And that is the rapid tutorial for the TACAN use and MFT overlay in the CH47 and DCS world. Thank you. We hope you found this useful.